welcome back. So this is Gamer Kochi playing more of the Terraria Spirit Mod. Now, in the previous episode, I did not do much. I did kill King Slime, and I and I also went back down to the jungle to try and get some some more loot. So that was nice as well. But I, I didn't do much in the last episode. But in this episode, I am hoping to do a few things. For one, I would like to try and take on the 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 Moon Jelly. The, the Moon Jelly Wizard today, but the only problem with him is how he spawns, with only this, which can only be caught at at a from 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 like catching a, a, a jellyfish during a jelly a deluge event. Now these can only spawn rarely. So that's bad. But in this episode, I'm probably going to do a lot of AFK that I'll probably edit out of the video to try and get this thing to spawn. Which was above ground after he wasn't defeated to go be summoned. But yeah, so. But yeah, so, like, this episode is probably going to be long for me, but, uh, but not long for you guys. Stress caught. But yeah, and so. And so this event can only. Be summoned during the night time, and it's night time right now, and it's not happening, which sucks. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna be doing a lot of waiting in this episode for the like event to happen because because I could technically just s s s skip the event or, or, or like s s skip the boss and just move on to the eater of worlds. But I would like to try and go down the the checklist. But there is one. Uh, but there is one more thing that uh, I can do. I can try to fight the occultist who spawns during Blood Moon. So, and I have the abomination. Look at that. Okay, well maybe. Okay, well like maybe instead of that, I'll be doing some Blood Moon things today. In fact, so uh, let's go ahead and do it. I am pretty strong at this point, so like it shouldn't be like last time. And let's hope that this time the Blood Moon did not uh, does not crash my game, because last time it just crashed my game, which was weird, weird, strange, and I had no idea how the hell that happened. So let's hope in this episode that doesn't happen. The last thing I need is for the bubble is for the blood to crash my game. In fact, I should probably do this. I just be safe. What is that thing? The skeleton. Let's improve. Let's improve. Okay, well that was uh, unexpected. And my arm slowly died. Great. Even though, even though I'm not playing as a ranger, still sucks how he died. So let's just wait until the occultist spawns, I guess. You know. I have to deal with mana. Please, full. But I could also use this, actually. Oh, yeah. I forgot about how I had this thing. Yeah, so this could take a while. And the occultist boss could be tough, in a way. So, yeah. Yes. 
sweet sound of killing enemies. So nice and satisfying. Where's the occultist when I need him? Okay, well, the cultist did not spawn in, but, but at least I got a feel for what the Blood Moon is like in this mod. Ow. Traveling merchant is here, and so is my is my is my new arms dealer. Let's see here, anything good here at all? All right, place of money, your piggy bank. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, on the way to I don't have enough for that. Crap, uh. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, yeah. So I think I'm going to go back to my. Original plan. Oh, I'm just waiting for the jelly leaf to legit to spawn in. This could this could take a while for me, but, but not for you guys because I'm going to to edit to the side of the video. But but still, it's, it's gonna be annoying to deal with. Okay, well I just waited for a bit, and now it's nighttime, and yet the event still hasn't appeared yet, which sucks. Yeah. There is one biome that this, uh, that this mod adds in, called the Asteroid Biome, which is somewhere above an ocean. It could be above this one, or above this one. And if I do recall, I do still have some gravitational potions, I think. Yep. Huh. Let's see, is there, is there a potion that teleports me to, to the beach right away? I'm pretty sure that there was one that did that, I think. Come on. Okay, so... Okay, so new plan. I am going to go to the... Asteroid biome. And hopefully there, I will find this... This... Uh, toy Psycho. And hopefully there I'll find this a distress jelly, and I'll be able to to call upon the event much quicker and easier. And here I am. Please let this be the ocean where where I have the asteroid biome. Please let it be it. Okay, this is not the asteroid biome, but it's something else, alright. You see, you feel a ghostly presence nearby. Oh god. Okay, so this place is for the ghosts. I think. Is there anything good here? Oh wait, there's oh, there. oh, there. 
Okay, and these guys are, are, are going to make it impossible for, for me to get. Okay. There you go. Okay. Let's see. Okay, just stab the J dragon. Oh, what's this? Whoa. This is a magic. Oh, oh, a weapon. Okay. And it looks like it pierces a lot. Okay, this is a game changer. A very big one. Like, this deals a lot of good damage. It can pierce, go through walls, I'm guessing. Yeah. And it deals a. And it's really good. Wow. A real big game changer. I am really glad that I decided to go there instead. Okay, then. So, I guess I'm, so I'm off to this side now to try and find. To, to try and find the ash uh, Troy field. Biome. I mean. Alright. Asteroid biome, here I come. I hope. Oh, yep. Here it is. Whoa. This place looks pretty cool. Bunch of asteroids, and even the background has changed. Although, although I think my... Oh, although, I think that my... That my texture pack may be interfering with this a little bit, but... Still, it looks... It looks really cool. Now, to, now there is a boss that you are, are meant to fight here. That I'm not ready to fight yet. Ow, the hell. But I do know that there is a chest here somewhere. I think. Or maybe some sort of... Well, what the hell are those things? So yeah, so like there is a chest here somewhere. Along with some sort of summoning altar, I think. So that's so yeah. I need to find it. I should definitely be definitely be here somewhere. These things tainting my way. Here, Ranger. Pretty cool a biome, you know? Okay, here it is. Here's my house, like, I gotta take care of this thing first. Please tell me that I can mine this. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. And, and, and uh, look at that. The bricks just like fly. So cool and creative. Guess that's that. Yeah, it's said to be in a chest here somewhere. Some reason to just dress jelly found in asteroid biomes and caught when using the bug nets. I curl less frequently after the move. Oh wait, so like I have to catch it? Right? Is that it? That's a gloop. Oh wait, here we are. Additional boots. Still lantern. Okay, that's not it. Ah. Whoa. These enemies are so cool, man. Here somewhere. So yeah, the, uh, yeah, the chests are kind of hard to find because they're so small in, in a way, and they sort of like blend in with this whole <laughs> biome. But it's cool, you know. It's cool. It's creative, I guess. But but in my case, it's not too useful. Oh wait, here we go. Please, please let this be it. Stress jelly. Look at my boots. Ow. Oh wait, something here. Is it 
summon oh, weapon need. Distressed jelly. It's gonna be here somewhere, right? Ten, the music is so nice too. Very smooth in a way, you know. Oh my god. Oh, oh, now I get. So now uh, I have to catch the je uh, uh, I have to catch the uh, the jellyfish in here too. Oh my god, it's all about ca catching them, right? Uh. Okay, well this is gonna be annoying to deal with. Okay, so let me quickly go back home. Because first of all, I have a lot of loot here. I need to sort it out. And possibly get another chest here as well. Okay, here I am. Or, or uh, I will be in a second. Okay, I am back. This time I'm ready with my bug net. Now I just need to wait around and wait for those distressed jellies to, to come around. Just hope that I don't kill one in the process. It sucks that these enemies do a lot of damage, though. It's really hard to deal with. I'm not asking for much, just one jelly. Wait, there it is. Boom. I got one. I might as well get two, just in case I die the first time. For the first time, like, as a weird bug or something like that. Still. Do these glutes drop anything useful at all? Or are they just, well, gloops? I guess they are just gloops. Rock candy. Uses life for regeneration, huh? That could, that could be useful. It's a really cool biome. I'm really enjoying it. Distress, distress jelly, where are you? Well, it's this. I do have this one mod installed that makes it so that if you have 30 stacks of one potion, then the buff will be forever. I'm curious if that's the same thing for this. Because if it is, then that'd be, pre be pretty cool. Ooh, what's that? Oh, cool. My first uh, a light source. Ow. And I died. Great. Oh well, it's fine. I got the of what I need. And besides, I can catch more when I when I'm doing the actual event. Now there is one thing that I'm curious about. Like, do do I need the actual event to summon in this guy, or what? Because. Okay, so that's like around night time. Now let me get my potions ready, too, so that I am ready to fight him. Danger sources.
Okay, well, not sure if I am <laughs> ready or not, but I'll give it a shot. Okay, it's nighttime. So let's try this out now. So let's see, I should be able to summon him. Use that nighttime to summon him. Alright, so let's do this. See oh yeah, and so and one of these two. Okay, so so it does summon in the event. And now if I summon in this guy. These things do that. Do it so that's the case. How do I summon? Here we go. Okay, so far pretty simple. Ow. So, we're porting around a lot. Kind of annoying. Okay, that was pretty simple. I expected this boss to be a little, a little tough, but with this weapon, I'm just so good and powerful, dude. It's like, seriously. And now the jellyfish are, are killing my NPCs because I killed their. their. their parent, I guess. Alright, well. Alright, well, that was pretty cool. It was pretty simple enough. I did not expect for the boss fight to be that simple. I thought that. Uh, it would be at least a little bit tougher, but it was pretty simple, you know? Oh yeah, now let's see who I got. So I got melee damage, so, so just some melee weapons along with this, and what else we got here? Anything else here at all? Green jelly, so like that. What part of this gun is considered to be a summon a weapon? This looks like a, a ranger. A type of weapon. To me. Oh wow. Someone's in. Oh, 
collecting. This is a club. Ah, oh, cool. It summons in some bubbles. Very cute. Oh, yeah. And the relic. Okay, well, that was fun. So I think I'll pause the video for now. Probably as soon as I am done with this event. But I do think that uh, I'll probably go back and fight this boss uh, off camera just to get uh, some more of, of the of the drops because this guy was pretty fun, you know. It's like this boss felt kind of uh, like simple, but also like not too hard, you know. So so that was nice. I definitely uh, one of my more uh, favorite bosses so far in this mod. But yeah, so. But yeah, so I think I'll pause there for now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did quite a lot today. Twelve, uh, well, 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 like not too much, but I did kill the, the, the Moon Jelly Wizard. And I did get this awesome new weapon that I will definitely be using for the Eater of Worlds fight. So, so in the next video, I think I'll probably try to kill the Eater of Worlds next, because he is next on my checklist, yep. And the fight should be pretty easy and simple, so I am not expecting it to be too hard with this oh, weapon. I do think that uh, I will do some off-camera um, playing to like get this event cleaned up, and then, and then I will be sure to fight the uh, the Eater of Worlds next. But yeah, this has been Game and Koji, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It really, really does help out this channel, and it helps out me. But yeah, this has been Game Run Coach, you guys, and I'll see you guys in the, in, in the next episode. Bye!